Did you guys know that there's something called passport card? Not the passport book that we all know about, but a passport card. If you knew about this, let me know in a comment because I just learned about this a couple of months ago when I was applying for my American passport after I became a US citizen, which I was very, very excited for. But anyway, when I was applying, there's a form called form DS-11. That's the form that you use to apply for a passport. And there was an option to apply for a passport card. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to apply because why not? And then I received the passport card and this is what it looks like. I hope I'm not sharing more information than I should be. So this is an identification card, a passport card. It's the size of your driver's license, ID or credit card and it can easily fit in my card holder right here which is very practical. Now when can you use this passport card? A if you are traveling or flying domestically between states it is a form of identification that you can use instead of using your driver's license which is very beneficial especially for us here in Arizona. I noticed or I read some signs in Sky Harbor Airport that they're not going to accept driver's license. You have to renew them to make sure that they are good to travel with and I thought you know what passport card is going to be a great idea idea to go with. So I've been using it for a couple of months right now. The other benefit for using a passport card is that you can use them for land and sea travel between the US, Canada, Mexico, the Caribbean and Bermuda. So if you are traveling by land or by sea to any of these countries, you can use your passport card instead of using your passport book, which is really cool. And what that means, if you are driving to any of these countries, like I'm driving from Arizona to Mexico, which by the way, Puerto Peñasco is not too far from here. So instead of using my passport book, I can use my passport card. If you are driving to Canada, same thing. And if you are someone who's so into cruises and you're taking a cruise to Mexico, Canada, the Caribbean, instead of using a passport book, you can use a passport card. So that can be really beneficial for some people. Now, when it comes to the application, I'm going to leave the link in the description box. You can go in there. It's very straightforward and you can follow the process. Now for the fee, it is $30 for the application fee and $35 for the execution fee. So that is $65 if you want to apply for a passport card. And once you do, once you have it, it's going to be valid for 10 years. So I'll Obviously, it's up to you to decide whether it's going to be good for you or not. If you do a lot of driving to Mexico, Canada, a lot of cruises, I think it's going to be very beneficial. So yeah, just wanted to share with you so that you have the information. Passport book and passport card are two different things and they serve two different purposes. And by the way, the passport card also has a passport ID or passport number, which is different than your passport book number. So just keep that in mind. Hope that you guys found this video to be useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. My name is Habiba. This is Trekking Pals and I will see you very soon on a new adventure.